sleep with one on each side because otherwise they try to wrestle all night long. So I put Tara on one side, Ankara on the other, and they have actually been sleeping through the night perfectly. Absolutely amazing. So we're actually in the safari house right now. And we actually already ate breakfast and got up and did a few things. Jack doesn't actually like to stay in my house, so, you know, he's here now. And it's about lunchtime, so we're gonna head on out and I don't know, we should maybe explore the mansion. What do you think? You guys wanna go explore a little bit? Come here, let's get both of your hands. We can go see what's, what's happening out there. So, Angara already lives with me. Adding Tara is not like actually a huge thing. And they absolutely adore each other. So it's actually been pretty easy. <gasps> we should play pool. Do you wanna play pool? I actually, uh, have brought Angara over here to play a couple of times. I don't know. Tara's ready. Do you guys know how to play pool? What do you think? <laughs> so this house, like I said, is available for rent. I believe it sleeps something like 22, so you could like have a party in here if you guys were interested. And depending on which option you choose, the animals will actually come over here and visit you if that's one of the options you guys choose. Or you can do the safari, swim with the elephant, meet the cutest boy in the whole wide world together. Yeah! Or his little sister, baby Tara. What do you think? You guys like playing pool? Yeah? <laughs> we're all out of balls. We need more balls. Come get them, Onga. Do you know how to play? You just knock balls around. Like, that's, all, that's all it is, you just knock balls around. They go in holes. Yeah. You got me. Angara doesn't seem very interested in playing pool. You wanna do something else, Angara? What do you wanna do instead? You wanna go look at some of the, the bedrooms? Huh? Oi. Well, here's the kitchen, which you guys have probably seen in a couple of my videos and the little dining room, and then we can head upstairs. You guys wanna go play in bed upstairs? Yeah, come on guys. I got us really good at stairs, huh? Go get him, go get him. <laughs> Let's go beat you up there. I got it for some reason now believes going under beds is super fun. Are you under one of the beds? Did you come in this one? I think he went in the other one. Did he? Yep, you're right, he's not in here. <laughs> So we actually bring the cheetahs in here as well. The cheetahs just like coming in the house because if it's uh, hot outside, it's air conditioned in here. If it's cold outside, it's heated in here. So they just like coming in here because it's just the comfort of being in a house, right? And cheetahs actually act pretty tame in the house. Probably more tame than a chimpanzee. Huh, what you doing? Is your brother, your brother being crazy? Huh? Oh, look at him. Oh, she almost did it. You gonna cross? Oh, he didn't make it. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Don't break anything on there, though. Good job. You were actually really careful. That was a good job, Eddie. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These guys might have a little bit too much energy for being in here. We could actually take them over to the ape house, which is designed specifically for them so that they can have all the fun they possibly can, get all that crazy energy out, because we actually have to play for hours every day for that energy to go out and so that they actually sleep better at night. Do you guys, you guys wanna go? Now Tara's off on adventure. Tara, you wanna, you wanna go? You wanna go to the ape house? Oh. <laughs> wanna go to the ape house? Yeah, good kids. So there's a bedroom here, bathroom there, another bedroom there. We've got another bedroom and bathroom there. Huge living room. Look at this. That overlooks the intercoastal waterway. The intercoastal waterway is where we swim with the elephant. So if that's actually something you choose as well. What do you think? Huh? Are you ready? Here. Yeah, let's go off on adventure. <laughs> Look at Tara being big and cool. What? You better go get her. <laughs> Angada is going to the secret cabinet. Uh oh, who's here? Who's here? Uh oh! Oh, there you go. So, this is where we've been spending hours every day. Is actually on the other side, which I don't think I've showed you guys yet. This one is just like a little bit easier for me to get to. So that's why I've been bringing them here. 
So the funny thing about this one is, good girl, take it slow. Yeah. So we are gonna build a door here so it'll be easier to get in and out of, you know, for the humans. Obviously the apes don't care. Uh, so what I was saying is the center is actually way looser on this one. So <laughs> that was something we actually had to try to get over. Sometimes I'm gonna leap all the way across the center because he's worried about how loose it is in the center. How many? What are you doing? Come play with me, Tara. Come here, I'm gonna bounce in the center. You ready? You wanna take those? Yeah? You want to take up? <laughs> you gotta come closer. <laughs> you gotta come closer. <laughs> You're making me reach. You're making me reach. Come here for tickles. Why are you making me reach so far? Huh? <laughs> you could bully. <laughs> tickle monster. <laughs> Tara, help me. Tara, help me. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Where did you go? You guys are cute. You guys are cute. Chimps absolutely adore each other. But of course, these two are gonna be besties for life. Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> so he knows the difference immediately between men, women, and children. He knows that, I'm, that Tara is younger. He knows that she's not as tough. So he's actually gonna be totally sweet to her, huh? Tell you the truth, the female chimpanzees are way tougher. She's nowhere near as big as him, but she is so much tougher than him, huh? Actually, she bit his finger the other day. Charlie bit my finger, and he cried. So that's been a question that um, you guys have asked a couple of times. They don't cry like we cry, right? He was upset, she didn't hurt him, he didn't bleed, nothing like that. But he did whine, he was upset, he couldn't believe that she would bite him on the finger. So tears are not something that happens with chimpanzees. They don't cry and actually have tears, but they do feel emotions. And of course, that's kind of a, a subject that scientists don't even want to talk about because they don't want to give our emotions to them. But I pick up on some of them, so yeah. They laugh, they kind of cry, they want, they need, I think they're a lot like us. <laughs> I think they're a lot like us. You big silly boy. <laughs> so we're done playing. It looks like I got us thirsty. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Boy, oh, don't drink too fast. Are <laughs> oh, you thirsty, you good boy? You're such a goofball. It's getting warm. Do you care if it's warm? Okay, good job. You did a good job. Oh, you need more now? Grapes and lettuce? Yeah, your favorite. I can open it for you. <laughs> Is that excited? Oh, you took four grapes. Okay, now you have to spit them out. Caramel grapes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been working hard. Can we need a grape? We need a grape. What about lettuce? You guys love lettuce. Usually. Yeah. So both of them are still getting bottles. Angada gets about three bottles a day. She's getting four to six. They're both eating the, the little uh, protein pudding. And Tara's learning some different fruits and vegetables. Angada eats an apple, carrot, banana, and sweet potato every day. What do you think, Tara? Oh, it's so good. And then, snack time. These guys have been playing hard all morning, huh? Even the big boys still take several naps a day. You done? You got just a mouthful of lettuce you're gonna put on the ceiling? You wanna go? Oh, Tara's gonna take it. Good job, honey. You guys did a good job! You wanna go take a nap? You wanna go take a nap? Oh, look how big these kids have gotten. And they're so big. All right, now we're heading back to this snack time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay wild.